Today we'll be continuing our look at the parables and we'll be looking at the parable of the prodigal son. This is in Luke chapter 15 verses 11 through 32. As you can see in the painting by Rembrandt, Rembrandt no e o mite, sari wa hoto musuko no kika no bamen desu ne. It's the scene of the return of the prodigal son and he's just gotten back and he's there before the father kneeling. Mo hoto musuko wa kaete mo chichi oyo no mai ni hizamuzi temas. And on the right side of the painting, also in red, we can see the elder brother looking on, and he shows no joy at all. So, ste migi no ho ni ma haka no fuku ga aru sugata wa, so de wa ani no sugata desu ne. Kari wa mo ototo ga kaete kite koto zinzin yorokonde inai desu ne. There's some very interesting details in this painting, and I'll just point out one of those. Kono e no naku ni if you look at the father's hands carefully, you'll see that the father's left hand is very manly, but the right hand is very feminine looking. There we see that Rembrandt is deliberately showing us that this father, representing Father God, has in a sense both the roles of a father and a mother to us. So today, Rembrandt wa mo stai tai koto wa kore na to omoimasu ne. Kono chichi oyo wa mo chichi naru kami sama no koto o arawashite imasu. So shite chichi naru kami sama wa mo chichi no yakume ni mo haha no yakume ni mo. In his righteousness, his mercy, and in his love, he sort of comes into both roles in a sense. Let's go ahead and read the parable. Tatoyo yomimasho. Yugo sho isetsukara. From Luke 15. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all gathered around to hear him. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law muttered, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. We're doing this just for context. This is the beginning of Luke chapter 15. And we want to remember that after this, Jesus shares three parables, the last of which is the one we'll be studying today, the parable of the prodigal son. この人は罪人たちを迎えて食事まで一緒にしていると、不平を言い出した。この聖子を見るのは、これはその文脈を覚えるためですね。この後、ルクによる福音書、シエスは3つの例えを語りになります。その最後なのはその例え、ホートムス
For the Son of Man came to seek and to save what was lost. It tells in Luke 19.10. And that's the first two parables and some other parables from Matthew that we also study. But today we're going to look at the third parable, the parable of the prodigal son. And there are many paintings and uh, art objects, you know, related to this story. Somehow it became very popular amongst the artists in Europe, and there are just many, many examples of where artists have attempted to show this story in one or more paintings, or etchings in this case. So we have lots of art to uh, share today as we go. And I won't comment on most of it, but take a good look at it as we go. And this is the main text of the parable. Jesus continued, There was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. お父さん、私が言ったことになっている財産の分け前を下さいと言った。それで父親は財産の二人に分けてやった。一見でこれはあの弟の願いはとんでもないことと思うかもしれません。しかし当時の文化の中でそのムスクはそれを願う金利があり
but there probably wasn't any other job for him. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. Kare wa buta no taberu inago mame o tabete de mo mo hara o mitashita katta ga tabimono kudeiru hito wa dare mo inakata. So all that time he was spending his money, there was probably all kinds of people around him, maybe women, maybe guys who wanted to hang out with him and party, but now they're all gone. They were only friends as long as he had money, and now he has nothing and no one will give him anything. And these pods, you know, what were they really? Kono inago mame wa doyu mono desu ka? Okoyu mame nan desu ne? This is probably uh, what they're talking about there is carabine pods, which today still are used in Egypt and other African countries as food for the pigs. Gendai ni mo kono inago mame wa mo buta no esa. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired men have food to spare, and here I am starving to death. So what we see here is there's all of these hired men on his father's uh, farm. So it must have been a lot of money that he's uh, used up because his father clearly is quite wealthy. But now he comes to his senses. So what it's implying is that he's coming back to his true self. When he was living as a prodigal, that wasn't the real man. He had gone a little crazy, maybe. In any case, he probably thinks he was crazy to use his money that way at this point. But he has nothing to eat and he decides to go home. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. お金を無理遣いはそのまま犯罪ではないですね。しかし彼は欲を分かっていますね。もう犯罪と言えるもの。じゃなくても彼のコードはもう罪でした。now we look at this and we see that he's confessing his sin or getting ready to confess his sin. He's thinking about it. Uh, but as far as we know, he didn't commit any actual crimes. Yet he knows that what he's done is sin. He knows that the way he treated his father, the way he used his money uh, uselessly, was indeed sin. Luke 15, 19. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. Luke 15, 19. So he got up and went to his father. 
But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. It seems the father was watching and waiting, hoping for his son's return. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. That's the love of the father. He didn't ask any questions. He didn't scold. He was just happy that his son was home. The son said to him, just like he planned, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Sono musuko wa kare no jibun no keikaku dori. ムスクワイタお父さんも私は手に対しても、またお父さんに対しても罪を犯しました。もうムスクとよばれる資格はありません。毎日そのムスクはもう悔い改めることを考えていましたでも、今は本当にもう悔い改めています。罪を告白して
Your brother has come, he replied, and your father has killed the fattened calf because he has him back safe and sound. Shimobi wa ita. Ototo san ga kaete korarimashita. Buji no sugata de mukaete toyu no de. O chichi ue ga koeta ko ishi o hofurareta no des. Ane wa okote ie ni hairo to wa sezu chichi oye ga dete kite nadameta. The older brother became angry and he refused to go in. So his father went out and pleaded with him. But why is the older brother angry? Doshite okotte iru ka? Do omoimasu ka? What do you think? Well, let's see what the brother says. Ane wa douyu ka miti mimasho. But he answered his father, Look, all these years I've been slaving for you and never disobeyed your orders, yet you never gave me even a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. Shikashi ane wa chichi oye ni ita. Kono tori, watashi wa nannen mo otou san ni iskaete imasu. Itsuke ni samuita koto wa ichito mo arimasen. Sore na no ni watashi ga tomodachi to enkai o suru tame ni koyagi ippiki sura kure nakata de wa arimasen ka. The older brother thought only of himself, so he had no joy in his brother's arrival home. Ane wa jibun no koto shika kangaete inakata no de, hototo ga kaete kite mo nan no yorokobi mo arimasen deshita. Furthermore, he's completely wrong. Sare ni kari wa kanze ni machigatte imasu. Do you remember what it said back in verse 12? Luca jugo sho juni sets ni kakari te koto oboete imasu ka? Luke 15, 12, it said, The father divided his property between them. Chichi o yuwa zai san o futari ni wakete yata to arimashita. In other words, after the younger son left home, everything there belonged to the older brother. Jitsu wa sono ototo wa Ie de ishite kara, sono nokori no mono wa zenbu sono ani no mono ni natte imashita. But the older brother did not recognize it. He did not accept what the father had given him. Shikashi, sono ani wa mo sore o mitomete ine kata, uke ine kata yo desu. Even though he, as the older brother in that culture, would have had the two-third share, twice as much as his brother's one-third share. Sono bunka no nake de son ane wa sanbun no ni o morata hazu desu. Sori wa mo ototo ga morata sanbun no ichi no bun wa mo bai hinarimasu ne. But the older brother never used any of it. He just continued to live exactly as he had before he received the inheritance. Shikashi ane wa mo sozoku jitsu wa morata na no ni seikatsu o zinzen kai na kata sono mama but when this son of yours who has squandered your property with prostitutes comes home, you kill the fattened calf for him. My son, the father said, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. Suruto chichi oyu wa ita. Koyo, omai wa itsumo watashi to isho ni iru. Watashi no mono wa zinbu onmai no mono da. The elder son literally is the owner of everything there. Yet, he hasn't really recognized that at all. Jitsu wa, ane wa soko ni aru mono subete no mochi nushi desu. Demo kare wa sore o zenzen mitomete inai yo desu. But we had to celebrate and be glad because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Daga omai no ano ototo wa shinde ite no ni ikikaita. Inaku nati ite no ni itsukatta no da. Shukuin o hiraite tanoshimi yorokobu no wa atarimai dewa nai ka. Saigo no ho ni Kono inaku nati ite no ni mitsukatta to arimasu. Ototo wa 
自分から書いたようでしてね。でもそうじゃない。彼の悔やらための思いも精霊の導きだったでしょう。It says he was lost and is found. It looked like he just came back on his own, but I don't think so. I think his thoughts of repentance and stuff must have been the leading of the Holy Spirit. もう自分からのことだけだったら何か食べ物を済むと思ったかもしれません。Left to himself and his own thoughts, he might have thought that he would steal something to eat. But instead, he thought of his father and his father's household. でもそうじなくて、もう父親の家を考えて、それに帰ろうとしました。Now, we could learn many things from this parable. この例えから、もう他にもたくさん学べると思います。But I've just picked up three or four Things that I would like us to take a look at.、Uh, ままあ、First, the interpretation is simple, but in the parable, the Father represents God the Father. The two sons show two ways that people separate themselves from God the way of the prodigal. And the way of pride. この例えでは父親は父なる神を表しています。二人の息子は人々が神から離れる二つの方法を表しています。宝刀の道と高慢の道なんです。まず宝刀の方を見て。First of all, the prodigal way. He takes his money and he goes and he just spends it on partying and completely wastes it. そのほと息子はお金を取って財産を全部使い尽くしてもう使いちゃってしまったんですね。それはもうパーティーとかもう罪深い生活の中だったでしょう。And in sinful living. But in the end he repented and he came back. しかし最後に悔い改めて帰りました。So the younger son disrespected his father in school. Wandered his wealth and wild living. So, the father of 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 the f a t h いておくがこのように一人の罪人が悔い改めれば神の天使たちの間に喜びがある。宝刀息子が帰った時は父親の家でパーティーが開かれました。また天国にもパーティーがあったでしょう。So when the prodigal son came home, his father had a big party in his home, but also maybe there was a big party in heaven as well. しかし、兄の方では、But as for the elder brother, he's taken the attitude of the Pharisees. Like the Pharisees, he's self-centered and self-righteous and thinks he has no need to repent. しかし、兄の方では、もうフェルサイ派の人々と同じように、もう自己主義の態度を取り、独占的で自分は悔い改める必要がないと、思い込んでいたようです。This is what the Pharisees were doing at the beginning of Luke 15 when they criticized Jesus. They weren't thinking about the joy of sinners coming back to God. They were only thinking about their own opinions and themselves. これは、フェルサイ派の人々は、もうルク15章、そして立法学者たちも、uh, と同じような姿ですね。彼らは、イエスを避難していて、この罪深い人と一緒に食事することを非難していました。その罪人がもう神に帰ってくることを全然喜べなかったでしょう。Matthew 23:27 has a warning for the Pharisees and the teachers of the law with that attitude. そのような態度を取るフェルサハイの人々と立法学者たちに、マタイ23章27節に、This is what Jesus said to them. 
Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of dead men's bones and everything unclean. Isn't this exactly like the elder brother? Outwardly he serves his father, but on the inside he's self-centered, jealous, and arrogant because he's filled with pride. これは、あの、兄と同じじゃないか。もう、外面的には、もう父に、もう忠実に仕えていますけれども、内側では自己主義で、もう高慢な態度があって、もう、死と覚えて、すごく罪深い人でした、心の中。The solution, of course, for him, as well as it was for the younger brother, is to repent and learn the way of love. Yohana Daiichi Yoncho Nijusets, 1 John 4.20 If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. For anyone who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. そして兄弟姉妹だけじゃなくてまた隣人も愛すべきですね。in the next verse it says, And he has given us this command, whoever loves God must also love his brother. And we know in another place it's written, And not only the brothers and sisters, but his neighbor also he should love. What else can we learn from this parable? Well, the father gave the younger son his inheritance and let him leave. And this shows us how God gives us free will. And the father joyfully welcomed the younger son when he returned, showing us how God freely gives us grace and forgiveness when we return to him. Also, Mata, the father gave the elder brother his share also, but he did not receive it. He did not recognize the blessing he had been given. So we should remember to notice the things God has given us and to enjoy them with thanksgiving. We don't remember the things that God has given us and consider them and give thanks to God often enough. Now within the parable, the elder brother did not repent, even though the younger brother did. And I think from this we can see that the elder brother's sin of pride is far more dangerous. In fact, I think pride is the most dangerous of sins because it's hard for the proud to repent. この例えの中で兄は悔い改めなかった。もう弟の方は罪を認めて告白して悔い改めましても兄は自分の罪を気づきませんでした悔い改めなかったですね。
高慢な態度があったのでそれで私はもう高慢は誇りを持ってブラを食べるのが難しいので最も危険な罪だと思います。What about us? 私たちはどうでしょうか In our hearts, are we prodigals? Like the prodigal son? 私たちは心の中で法当者でしょうか法当息子と同じような態度をとっていますか神様が来るさったものを無理遣いにしていますか Do we squander the things that God has given us in your life or just in our hearts? Either way, it's still sin. 人生の中でも,も心の中の思いでもそれは罪です。Or do we have elder brother hearts? それとも兄のような心を持っていますか私たち。高慢な態度をとって自分の罪を認めない、告白していない、触れはためないですね。Not recognizing the sin in our hearts because we're filled with pride and not seeing any need to repent. I think that all of us actually have a little bit of the prodigal son and a little bit of the elder brother both in our hearts. 実は私たち一人一人が心の中にそのほとのことを少しあってまた兄の困難な態度もあるでしょう。So, there's always things we need to realize that we are falling short of how we should live in God's grace. We always have something we need to repent of. At the same time, though, we should not live our lives in misery, you know, think, oh, poor me, I'm a sinner, because we recognize the great gifts God has given us. Shikashi, 同時に私たちはずっと悔い改めて私は惨めなものだと思わなくてもいいです。神様が来るさた大きな恵みと許しを認めるべきです。受け入れるべきです。ヨハネの高め第一一章九節にこう書かれていますね。This is what it says in 1 John 1 9: If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us. From all unrighteousness. 自分の罪を公に言い表すなら、神は真実で正しい方ですから、罪を許し、あらゆる不義から私たちを清めてくださいます。罪の思いがあるときに悔い改めてそれをいただくのです。We have sinful thoughts, even we need to remember this and turn from that and receive God's forgiveness. しかし、神様の恵みをいただいて、許しをいただいてから、それを楽しんで、もう大喜びを持つことは、いい態度だと思います。主の皆を褒めてたいながら。But we've received that forgiveness, we should have joy in that, and we should be able to celebrate and praise God for that. Let's pray. お祈りしましょう。父なる神様。私たちは皆を褒めてたいます。あなたの無限な愛を感謝します。私たち一人一人が足りないところがあって罪を犯してしまうことがあります。たまに法と息子のように罪を犯してしまう。たまに高慢の中で兄のように罪を犯してしまうことがあるでしょう。どうか私たちがその一つ一つの罪のことを悔い改めてそれをその許しをいただきますように。恵みを注いで憐れみを与えくださいあなたの愛の中で、無限の愛の中で、私たちがもう救われたものとして生きることができるように、大きな喜びを持って、いつも死へと共に歩み、聖霊の導きをいただきつつ、うれしく、重い幸いの生活を生きることがありますように。私たちだけにだけじゃなくて、もう私たちは心を開いて、この愛、あなたがくださった恵みを、兄弟姉妹と隣人にも分かち合うことができますように、助けて導きください。あなたの愛を注いで、一人一人の上に、この教会を祝福して、あなたの栄光のために用いてください。一人一人を祝福して、
あ、導いてください。周りの人々に、その愛を示すことができるように。家族親戚、隣人も、あ、福音を聞いて、さ、救われますように、お願いします。この国で大きな栄光を与え、主イエスが多くの人の救い主として認められますように、主イエスのととも